Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, uh, thought leaders and uh, how to educate the future thought leaders in this complex uh, world. I think to grapple the idea and to move it forward, first of all we need to really understand uh, three very distinct things. First of all we need to understand what is a thought leader. Secondly, we need to understand the context of education in uh, creating a new thought leader. And then, of course, the complexities uh, which arise around, from, uh, around the world and uh, the settings we are in. So, first of all, looking at uh, the definition or, or trying to nail down the very idea of a thought leader. What is a thought leader? A thought leader is an uh, opinion leader. Opinion leader who is well informed in his field of expertise. It's also a trusted source and a go-to person to who gives us motivation, who gives us uh, new innovative ideas. So a tall order itself, it's not so easy to become a thought leader. Okay? So in essence, thought leaders are people who have uh, relevant industry experience, who are very objective, who have uh, objectivity, who have uh, the right insight into the industry itself, what they are specializing in, and above all, they actually have the tenacity and they have uh, the understanding of uh, environment around them as themselves as well. So uh, in essence there are three things which we should be looking at and foc focusing as at thought leader. Who are, what are you going to do, who are you, number one, as a thought leader, what do you want to do? And th number three and the last very important question, what are you going to do with what you know? Okay. So these uh, three things were very, very important questions which need to be answered to a person who is aspiring to become a thought leader. Now slowly let's move on to education. Education itself, uh, coming, uh, all of us uh, having a necessity to get degrees, a necessity to have formal education is very important. But what is the formal definition of a formal education? Just going to a college, university, school, where we learn something or where we are taught something and we take it back and we try to implement it into our real world experience. But as a matter of fact, education is something which we need to learn. Okay? We, uh, the very definition of education is education itself is how the expertise or the knowledge or the know-how how to learn. That is, in my, in my simple understanding of education, that is the most important thing. All the rest of the things, the periphery things, whether you're doing a degree in this or degree in that, or specializing in this subject, specializing in that subject, they are secondary. If you do not know how to learn, then you do not know how to be educated, then the educators are not doing the job. So from my point of view, from, uh, from uh, the way I look at things, education is about learning. The building capacity or uh, building that, uh, uh, giving that empowerment or empowering uh, students how the capacity to learn, it's very, very important. So that is uh, uh, number two thing, which I think very important for the, st for the students, especially in an educational environment. Uh, for them to actually learn and be able to utilize that uh, method of learning. Second, a third thing which we can go to is uh, the complex world around us. How are all of these things fitting in together, thought leadership, education and uh, the complexities around us. We live in a global world. We are right now living in an age where uh, there are no barriers, there are no geographic barriers. We just pick up the phone, we are talking somewhere all over the world, we are on the internet, etc. There are a few things which come to mind immediately, which we need to be aware of, which we need to understand and which we need to actually really implement. First of all, is an awareness of uh, global awareness. We need to be aware as uh, future thought leaders, first of all, uh, be aware of what's happening around us on a global scale. It's very, very important. If we are not aware of what is happening globally and of what the trends are, of what, uh, what we, what's happening in our specific industries, uh, it negates the whole point. Uh, second thing which is uh, very important to understand and second thing very important to un uh, know is uh, localization. There are two completely distinct things. One is global awareness and one is a local awareness. Uh, 
having an awareness, taking into context the idea of uh, Asia. Asia is becoming into a very vibrant place, but at the same time, the culture, Asian culture, is uh, extremely diverse and heterogeneous. But at the same time, it's very complementary to each other as well. So we need to learn how to take that Asian culture, how to take the different components of the culture, and how to apply that to execute globally. This is another thing which uh, I think is very important for us to learn as uh, future thought leaders or to be imparting or educating the future thought leaders how to take, put all of these things into context together. And the last thing which I think we all do realize but we never act upon and as a thought leader it's very important for us to look at the social component, the social aspect of it. We need to understand what are the social responsibilities of being um, up there where we are actually driving the industry, where we are the future thought leader, we are aspiring to be the future thought leader. We need to always keep in mind that uh, we have a responsibility, a social responsibility for everything around us. Whatever happens around us, we have, we have to be part of it because it, at, at the end of the day, it all has an impact on what we do and how we do it.